to start from um, sitting guard. So when you hit sitting guard, what we're looking for is that kind of that quick pass. All right, we're going to get here. We're going to hit a nice submission from here, um, and then we're going to move from there. So what we want to do is, is we want to control whatever side it looks like he's favoring. All right, and I can kind of it's it's kind of hard to tell you exactly which way he's going to go until he posts a leg. But at the moment that he starts to post a leg, you can kind of get an idea of which way he's going to go. What we're looking for is we're looking for a far side arm bar, just a quick hitting arm bar. So at this point, when he starts to come around, as he comes around, he's always going to try to look to shut this leg to the inside. Okay? He wants to clear the leg, clear the knee line primarily. Once he clears the knee line, he's good to go. He's going to drop down, he's passed, and he's good. So we're not wanting to allow that. We want to knock, we want to knock that off before he gets a chance to do it. So I'm controlling the collars, all right? He's caught me squared up. I'm not in my standard combat base where I'm leaning away. He's caught me squared up and he's starting to work around. As he starts to work around, I'm gonna catch at the back of the tricep, okay? I don't wanna catch down here at the elbow. There's a lot of movement he can do from there. I wanna catch at the back of the tricep and I wanna go ahead and I wanna lock my elbow down. Now you'll notice that this already starts to kind of put a little bit of bend in the arm. I wanna go ahead and lock the arm on down. I'm really kind of just gonna go with this. I want to let my toes hook kind of high up in here, I'm gonna have to lift my hips. So as he starts to settle around for this kind of this Toriano, I'm gonna extend the leg out. This leg is gonna come up and I'm gonna hit the submission. Okay, it's an arm bar. It's a very quick arm bar <clears throat> and it's very, very tight. From the sitting position, he's starting to telegraph. Once he makes his move to go, this is kind of what stops him from being just getting completely away from me. As I go, it's easier for me to stay squared up. He's going to start to try to Toriando. My leg's going to come high. This arm has to be down inside the armpit. I don't want it down here. I want it right in the armpit, and I want to be right up above the elbow. Then I just lock down. There's your submission. Okay? Very quick. Right there. All right? Again. In this dual collar position, he's caught us. I now get this, I lock down. That kind of guides it into the armpit. As he goes ahead and goes through, I'm just gonna go with it. And there it is. And they can tap with their foot as well. I wasn't seeing that. <laughs> Took me a second. <laughs> Next one was tap. My bad. Okay. So a couple keys to this. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way through it and then we'll stop once we get to the actual submission. Once he goes around, I'm gonna get up high into this armpit and I catch, this pulls into right here, and I lock it, okay? Right here is where the submission happens, is when I get up into this side and my hips come up. Once the hips come up, that's where I hit it. It's a crunching down of the knee to finish. If your hips are down, it's not there. You can't finish it. Raise your hips up, it's there, okay? So once you go over, a quick look at this is, this is really what we're looking for. Get to this position here, you wanna roll that elbow down. If you leave it flared up like this, you're gonna have to roll more onto your side. So roll the elbow down, okay? Make sense? All right, here we go, one, two, three. So this particular variation of arm bar um, kind of started more or less when people post in the hip, it's it's been it's been changed and adapted for a lot of different positions. But the standard armbar is is pretty much come along when people post in the hip, and this is where you really really catch a lot of people when they get into that standard of trying to pin your hips and more or less move around your legs. So when we're in kind of the sitting position, what's going to happen is is this is what you're going to see the posting of the hip trying to pin my hips down, and then he circles around the outside of my leg, and then he tries to kick out here and close the distance and go ahead and complete the pass. A lot of times, this is what you're seeing. This variation can be done whether he's kneeling, doesn't matter where he's at. When they post on the hip, this is how this is the kind of the answer for it. This is the danger spot for it. Now, going back just a little bit, some of you guys may be having a problem actually getting the correct angle. Understand something. It's about elevating your hips. If your butt is on the ground, there is no armbar. It's not going to work. You've got to elevate your hips up under his armpit to finish this. So 
So back on the first one now, when he grabs the legs and starts coming around and I get to here and I've, I've cleared this and got it in. Once I get here and I'm laying back with it, this foot coming up here means a lot, okay? Because when this foot comes over the top, now I'm scissoring my legs together. Not so much the, it's not so much the collapsing of the knee that does it. It's when I'm holding this far side collar and I elevate my hips and then there it is. You, some of you guys are trying to finish it right here, okay? Hard to do, watch. His arm maintains the same orientation. I lift and that's what finishes it. I'm not squeezing really any harder with my leg. It's here, I close it here, he's not tapping. He's not tapping, I don't squeeze any harder here. It's this that finishes it. I'm lifting my hips and going away from me, okay? So keep that in mind. The elevation is what finishes this particular arm bar. It's a really, really awkward angle, but once you figure it out, it's fantastic. So now, the hip post is one of the easiest ways, man, because he's putting his hand right there in your pocket. And once that hand goes, all I want to do is kind of lean forward and catch it, all right? Because what's going to happen is as he goes ahead and forces the pass, he's giving me this, and it's a really nice, it's a really, really perfect angle. So always just be looking for the hand on the hip, no matter which way he may go. So if you're playing here and you've got this cross collar grip and that hand gets posted, boom, it's right there. If the hand gets posted here, boom, it's right there. It's really, really fast, okay? So once he posts the hand, this time you, you guys that are passers, you're gonna post the hand in the hip. You're gonna circle. Fall into it. Make sure you're laying on the side, not so much flat on your back. Okay, here we go. One, two, three.